I am definitely intrigued by what I'm seeing here. You've got a nice, safe, deep cockpit that is not too big that you can't go flying out of. And to be honest, it looks like it's in better shape than I was expecting. I think this could be a good opportunity for someone that's looking for a bit of a project, but to be honest, this boat's in pretty good shape given the current situation. What's up everyone? I'm excited today because I've got what looks like a unique opportunity to own a big boat for a not so big price. She's a 50 foot custom schooner built in Italy, sailed overseas, refit and settled on the Great Lakes. Unfortunately, her current owner has passed and money is owed to the yard, so there might be an opportunity for someone to purchase her relatively cheaply. She's been sitting for a while, but because she's been stored undercover, the boat is in relatively good shape. Remember to do all the usual things, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, everybody, I just stepped aboard and I am definitely intrigued by what I'm seeing here. This is a big boat, nice and beamy. It does look like it's pretty much a flush deck aside from this little area here. But forward of that, we've got a nice flush deck. Really cool. I'm gonna continue forward. Got the foremast step here because this is a schooner. Continuing forward. Big four deck hatch right here. Open for ventilation because we are indoors. Horizontal windlass, dual bow roller, and a delta anchor on the bow roller here. Looking aft. Good looking boat. I think a good looking deck layout for sure. Practical. I would like to see slightly higher lifelines, but aside from that, I like it. it. Seems like the deck is in relatively good shape given the current condition, just needs to be cleaned up. We've got actually three poles on deck here, one, two, three. Looks like large aluminum cleats right here on the bow. Aluminum tow rail. Below this deck hatch is a vent, it looks like. Granny bars for the foremast, another deck hatch right there. Going fore and aft, just really nice walkable decks. Obviously there's some stuff on them. There's lines, the poles, the booms, but you know, when this boat is in sailing condition, you're gonna be able to go forward and aft very easily. Life raft up here on deck, good spot for it. Two hatches just after the granny bars. Nice long general tracks, more hatches, more ventilation. There is an exhaust here for a heater, potentially a diesel heater. I see winches starting right here and then obviously your, your main winches are gonna be in the cockpit back here. Traveler for the foresail. And then because this was a flush deck, there weren't any port lights until now and now we have stainless opening ports, which is nice. And handholds going to about there. Handholds going aft. We are back here in the cockpit. It is an aft cockpit, all the winches. Most of the winches, I should say, are back here. I would say this is a pretty good layout. You've got a little bit of an aft deck back here, which is nice, always good to have. And then a radar on a pole right here. Looks like manual bilge pump and a big, Big locker back here, so lots of storage, which is always nice. Very good. A nice deep cockpit back here at the helm station, so pretty safe. And standing at the helm, you've got good sight lines forward for sure. And you feel pretty protected, so that's good. You can sit on the combing if you need to, or you can sit back here. I like that, and then you've got a little space forward for some passengers. Definitely could be more space, especially for a boat of this size, but this is a sailor's sailboat. So <laughs> you've got a nice, safe, deep cockpit that is not too big that you can't go flying out of. 
in a heavy sea, which is nice. Chart plotter. Traveler back here for the main mast. Not a huge fan of that. I don't really like the Traveler being in the cockpit. Just for safety reasons. But to each their own. Some people really like that. Gives you more control. Got a little walkway right here. Certainly you can set something up right here for seating. So not bad. I like, I like this setup. I like the offset companion way as well. That gives you more options down below. As you guys will see, there's a nice U-shaped galley right there. So yeah, offset companion way is pretty nice. And speaking of down below, I think it is, I think it's time. I think it's time to go down below. So I just stepped down below. And to be honest, it looks like it's in better shape than I was expecting. I do have to apologize that, you know, the lighting isn't that great. The boat has no power to it right now and we're currently indoors so there's not a lot of light getting down below but i am using a handheld light to help assist with the filming you guys can hear that floor is a bit creaky i do like what i'm seeing though for what you get very very cool so let's go ahead and start looking at the details. So we've got a forward facing nav station down here and you know, the quality of the woodwork that I'm seeing is really nice. Definitely, I think this boat is a diamond in the rough. Look at that forward facing nav station and then the distribution panel right there. Woodwork, just, just good quality woodwork all around. Good quality teak and or mahogany. And then you have a U-shaped galley directly to port of that forward forward facing nav station. I like that a lot. Gimbaled stove, lots of storage, lots of cold storage as well. Very, very nice. There's even a little microwave down there. Little sink, but functional and deep. Look at that woodwork. Again, the lighting isn't the best. This is what I'm using for a light. But, really cool. So we're gonna go forward and then come aft. So up here, obviously, you know, this boat is in storage mode. It's been, you know, kind of sitting for a while, as you guys can tell. But look at this. We've got a nice big main salon here. Very beamy in this part of the boat. Diesel heater. Two big settees that could also be used as pilot berths. And storage behind, storage below. Really nice. I like that heater. Obviously you see that a lot in Northern boats. I'm also intrigued by what's going on here. So let's see what's, what's happening to the forward section. So up here, it looks like we have bunks, double berth down below, single berth up above. Very nice. Could be a lot of potential. Kids room, that kind of thing. And then on the other side, the port side, pretty much the same thing mirrored. So two good size forward cabins that can sleep a total of like six people between the two. We're going to continue forward. A nice size hanging locker up here, I think mirrored on both sides. And then we're going to share a head right here. So pretty decent size head. It is a wet head. So you just shower right here. You got the head to, to my right. And then those are the two cabins we're looking aft right now. And then the sink with some storage behind. And then we're not done yet. If we go, if we continue forward, there's actually a V-berth up here. 
Would you look at that? So there's actually, there's a really long V berth. Got a lot of storage. There's a lot of space on this boat, for sure. Really long V berth up here. And that's that big hatch that you guys saw on deck earlier. Very cool. And then lots of potential storage below these berths. And we're going to continue aft. We we came through the starboard side. We're going to go back to the port side. So again, just mirrored cabins here. So in the forward section of the boat, we've got sleeping for not just six, but like eight people. Pretty crazy. A lot of accommodation on this on this boat for a 50 footer. And we're back in the ample main salon. And we're gonna walk through and get to the aft cabin, but I first got to move the light. All right guys, head and aft. There is another head right here. It is a it is a wet head again, but another good size wet head. So two heads on this boat, lots of cabins. And then the aft cabin, which is back here. So we've got two single berths back here in the aft cabin. So definitely, you know, a little bit of an odd layout. You know, you might have expected this to be the master cabin. That's kind of what I would have expected, but this boat kind of doesn't have a master cabin. So just two single berths back here, a little odd, but still, you know, still usable. You've got plenty of sleeping room. This boat sleeps 10. And there's your there's your diesel engine right here with the engine access. So this would certainly be a <laughs> pretty warm room if the engine were running and probably pretty loud. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where, if you were the owner, you would sleep. I guess you'd probably take the V-berth or one of those two forward cabins. This is definitely an interesting one, guys. I like it a lot. I think this could be a good opportunity for someone that's looking for a bit of a project, but to be honest, I was expecting worse. You know, this boat's in pretty good shape given the current situation. So yeah, I mean, if you were potentially interested in purchasing this vessel, I'd definitely get a good survey and get it for the right price and expect to do a bit of work yourself. But I mean, I think this could be a good buy and it could be bought at certainly an affordable price for what you get. Anyway, guys, now it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from about to stern.
So what do you think? Personally, I think this could be a great opportunity for someone looking for a big boat that's a little bit of a project, and honestly, this one was kind of tempting for me, but right now, the timing just is not right for us. As with all of our videos, the current asking price as well as the broker contact information will be in the description below. Price is also negotiable. Thanks again for watching. Remember to do all the usual things, and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson now